Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from Mapsit. So uh, in this uh, short video I will uh, say a few words about a uh, simple um, e-commerce starter uh, powered by FastAPI. So the product is uh, has a minimal code base, it has no database and the provisioning of the, of the product uh, are made through JSON files. Uh, what is really nice about this uh, this project is, uh, of course, is the backend technology, and uh, on top of this is uh, Stripe integration. So basically, you can sell. You really use the um, the starter to to build an e-commerce and to put it into production. And also, the design is uh, looks uh, looks amazing. It's designed by creative team, so it's a um, it's a modern Booster Five um, design integrated into into Fast API. Let's take a look at the um, at the product. Uh, uh, make a local uh, copy uh, and uh, start the product. So I will uh, I will clone the the product and um, check out the services in my environment and uh, just uh, start the product. In order to compile and uh, and uh, and use it uh, and use the sources, you need to follow up all the instructions as provided here on the readme. So uh, we need to follow up the, the usual steps for a Python project. We need to create a virtual environment, install dependencies, and uh, uh, start the application. Okay, I will uh, clone the sources. I will increase the fonts in my terminal just to 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 make visible all the all the commands. Okay, for uh, code editing, I am using VS Code, so it's super nice the editor. Uh, let's uh, start a product. So I will uh, follow up the instructions. The first thing is to create a virtual environment. I will activate the virtual environment, install the dependencies. Okay. Once the dependencies are uh, are installed, we can start the application and uh, check out the application in the browser. <clears throat> As I said before, the the layout is it's super nice. It has a lot of uh, uh, elements and pages, but uh, we need to go to the product page. So uh, by default, the uh, the index of uh, products page looks like this. On top of the page, there is a feature at the um, product, and here uh, we have three three other products. The information is is loaded from. Uh, from the templates product uh, directory if we go to the to this location we'll see four items the feature red which is basically this this product we can uh, check out the name Nike Dynamo whatever so it's basically this if we update here the the text and refresh the page we should see the um, the change reflected in the page the same thing uh, we can do with uh, with the price because the um, the payment flow uses uh, dynamic pricing so if you decide to uh, change the pricing for your product you just need to go here and uh, and update the, the price um, let's uh, try to initiate the payment uh, the application because we didn't provide the minimal configuration for the uh, for for stripey informs us that we need to, to provide stripey secrets in the in the environment so uh, to do this, uh, I will uh, stop the application and uh, copy the environment from uh, from this project, uh, which has uh, the the keys. Basically, the most important things are these: Stripe public and secret key. And also, this uh, item is uh, important: is the server address. Basically, needs to to be the same uh, uh, the same address as uh, as this one. 
uh, this address is used by by the Stripey flow to uh, for the callback URL once the user completes the payment or cancels the payment. Okay, so uh, this information, uh, Stripey public and secret key, we can uh, uh, we can uh, take them from from Stripey dashboard. Uh, so let's start application and uh, try to to complete the the payment. Now the application is is refreshed. We can go here, and uh, of course we can uh, initiate the payment. Uh, this uh, application runs uh, at this moment in um, in the test mode, so no, we can use uh, safely a uh, uh, test um, credit card information uh, just to to test the um, the payment flow. Let's. Uh, Use a random uh, password, uh, email. This 4242 is the credit card provided by Stripey for testing purposes. So, uh, for the rest of the fields, we can use any, any information. Okay. So in this case, the payment is successful. The payment was completed, so um, theoretically we get the money from the customer. Let's go back to the to the products and uh, cancel the and test also the payment uh, uh, cancellation. If the user uh, decide to cancel the payment we should uh, um, we should have this uh, event also catched by the application so the payment is cancelled uh, we can do the same thing with uh, all other products um, in case we want to um, uh, duplicate or to add a new a new product we just need to create here a new JSON um, of course the same thing we can do with uh, with other with other products if you go here and uh, try to, to buy this one which is an expensive product uh, let's uh, update the, the price and uh, uh, see how it goes okay so now the, the new price is, uh, is displayed by the application and also the the checkout will uh, will charge the the same amount. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, this um, this product is is open source. Feel free to use it in your product. Uh, in case anyone have issues, uh, uh, don't hesitate to access Absid and uh, go to the support page. We are answering to all the emails and also we are pretty active on Discord. The community is great. We have more than 1,000 members, and uh, we try to to help uh, the entire community with um, with what we know, with uh, new modules and uh, new features. So uh, let us know um, uh, if the product is useful and uh, what uh, other models we can we can add to to this simple, super simple e-commerce powered by uh, Fast API. Thanks for watching again. Uh, Adrian here from Mapsid and as always I wish you all a super super day. Bye guys.